We all know and love the Thaleo, the gorgeous fusion of industrial design and mid-century aesthetic. Its sleek exterior and beautiful wood veneer belies its true nature as a personal computer, and its utility as a PC is almost irrelevant when it's sitting as the centerpiece of a well-designed desktop. However, System76, the manufacturer of this piece of art, has been hard at work over the last eight months creating the latest iteration of the Thaleo line. This is the redesigned Thaleo. This new take on the classic Thaleo addresses several issues with the previous model, adds new features, and refines the overall look and feel of the chassis. First up, let's talk about the system specs. This machine shipped with a Ryzen 9 5900K 12-core CPU, an NVIDIA RTX 3060 Ti Lite hash rate GPU, 32 gigabytes of RAM, and a one terabyte M.2 SSD. It also comes stock with Pop! OS 2204 LTS with GNOME 42 and System 76's in-house customization extensions. That's it for the specs. And truthfully, if you're gonna have a Thaleo, you'll probably pick the parts yourself. But what I wanna do is compare the Thaleo we have here in the office with the Thaleo that they sent me. This bad boy. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. And it's a brand new design. I love the Thaleo. Now, I think the first thing that everybody's going to notice right off the bat is the redesign shrinks the veneer wrap to just a single trim on the front. When I asked their team why they made that change, I was told that it simplified the manufacturing process. But I also like how it looks, and their team does too. What's cool about this accent panel is that it's actually interchangeable, so you can snap the panel down and off and then replace it with one of the included alternatives. So since the wood panel no longer wraps around the outside of the right facing chassis, the question is, what did they replace it with? Well, there's more of the Colorado Rockies design that adorned the side of the previous model. And this time around, the etching has a more contrast color. To me, it looks absolutely sharp. Around back, we have the IO. Immediately, what jumps out at me is that the cutout for the outer chassis is no longer straight. Instead, it's more of a scoop design. The rear I.O. is also diversified. We have one HDMI, two display ports, five USB type A ports, and one USB type C port. There's also a button for BIOS flashing. Now the bracket to mount the graphics card is also improved over the original Thaleo. Similarly, moving to the inside of the chassis, we also have an improved GPU brace. There are a few things that are the same, like the same power button and same uh, SATA backplane, same LED assembly, and it looks like the same modular power supply. But from there, things are quite different. As one might expect, the motherboard and peripherals are obviously different, but the chassis is sturdier and seemingly has better airflow. There's a crossbar along the top of the frame that provides support and keeps the frame stable. It's more robust than the original and provides convenient storage for the two and a half inch drive mounting screws. Speaking of, this chassis has room for four 2.5 inch SATA drives as well as two M.2 drives. One above the GPU and one more on the rear of the motherboard. Now the original Thaleo had room for four drives as well, but the new SATA drive cage comes with a branded cap that should hold the drives in place better as they're secured only with rubber anti-vibration screws. The previous model didn't have that cap. The last thing that I want to talk about here is the acoustic profile of the new Thaleo. Now, I'm not generally the kind of guy who's going to complain about a machine that makes a little bit of a noise, but my Thaleo, the one we've had here in the office, is definitely present when the fans kick up. You can hear it uh, as it sits on the desk. This new Thaleo is a bit quieter under load, though it's by no means silent. The fact is, it sounds like a PC, which is better than a wind tunnel, which the old model could sometimes approximate. So, yeah. Awesome stuff going on over at System76. They're building beautiful, functional machines that serve to impress, both in terms of performance and aesthetic. Thank you for System76 for sending me this unit to review. If you haven't already, check out some of the other stuff I've done with System76 up here. Their team will be engaging with posts over on social media using the hashtag me and my alter ego to encourage folks to show off their hobby projects. So if you do something cool with a System76 machine or even just a Linux box, tweet at them using the hashtag. I'm sure they'd love to see it. I think that's gonna do it for now though. I wanna give a special shout out to my patrons and my YouTube members. It's because of them that I'm able to continue growing this show. 
If you believe in the work that I'm doing and you want to pledge your support, use the links below to become a Linux warrior. And thanks. I think that's going to do it for this video, though. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a blessed day, and I'll see you next time.